I think it's. I don't really look forward to it. I just sort of I play it, and I'm a big believer in men's and ladies' that should be separate. Mm-hmm. So I don't think any lady will will ever go to Ali Pali and and win that. I think you are literally just being silly if you think that's possible. I think they do the women's series separate, obviously. How many ladies are better than men in any other sport there is? Like, it's just not a thing, and I think you have to be realistic about it. And Bo, huge congratulations. What's the feeling like to defend that wonderful title? Yeah, I think probably just uh, a bit of relief, and um, I just feel proud of myself. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's n- I don't care who you are, it's difficult to go up there and defend a title that you've won the year before because everyone's got a target on your back. But uh, I did both sort of Im- improve my game and, um, yeah, I just feel really happy and ready to just see my family in a bit. Well, you touched on getting better and game by game you got better. But in that first game, were there a lot of nerves because it was a below-par performance for your standards? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't... I mean, I was nervous, but I wouldn't say it was... Um, all partly down to that. I think it's just the fact that I'm thinking about if I get beat, I'm going out first round and I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. It was my own fault. I uh, was thinking about too much stuff. But the second I won that, I just thought, right, I can kick on now and try and improve on it. And then I did slightly. And then um, the final was a decent game between me and Fallon. So, um, yeah, it was just sort of settling myself down. You say there's pressure and there's a target on your back, but you're getting used to this because... You've defended the late side, you've, you've defended this, so it's something that you are getting used to and going to have to get used to with the yeah. performances that you're putting in. Yeah, it's a weird one. Like Even though I was nervous, I didn't feel as if I was going to get a beat. I felt, even before I played the final and the semi-final, I felt as if I was going to win. I don't know what it is. I know, obviously, when you played arts professionally, you, sometimes you just know, and I, I just knew I was going to sort of turn up. And it, it was just nice to sort of, um, just to play well, I think. Obviously, Fallon said the same to me on the stage, just sort of to... To perform in front of the telly is a, is a big thing for lady starts and you don't get the opportunity to do it a lot so it was nice to have a good game and a, a competitive one at most. And obviously winning this you now get to go back to the Grand Slam somewhere where you illuminated but narrowly missed out. Are you looking yeah. forward to, to going back and, and trying to put that right at the Grand Slam? I mean maybe I, I think obviously when I was at the Grand Slam last year it was, a, it was difficult obviously I'm not used to being around them sort of people and obviously that that's what they do all the time playing obviously the lads in the group and that but they were all they was all right so I think it's what I don't really look forward to it I just sort of I play it and I'm a big believer in men's and ladies that should be separate so I don't think um I won't think too much into that I just sort of play play as it comes but uh, yeah obviously it's going to be difficult I think I did, I did well last year I just sort of messed up my own sort of game but uh, like I said grateful for the opportunity to obviously be able to get there again so yeah Thank you Barry it seemed to really click in the final why do you think it clicked then but maybe not in the previous rounds I don't really know I think I didn't practice much before my first game which is probably really stupid but uh, I think after the first game I just thought right I can't be doing that again against obviously some of the the uh, the top lady so it's just one of them like just trying to tell yourself that you know you need to sort of step up and I, and I knew I had to I knew obviously I don't think Fan and Lisa had an amazing game but it's um, it's a sticky one to sort of come into you don't know how they're going to come out after that and obviously play so I know I had to be on my game and uh, just happy to sort of get that first start like up and just not dragging again and just nice to sort of get flowing early on in the game We know you've been competing on the development tour as well this year, which is a big decision for yourself. How much has that helped elevate your game? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously it's such a hard standard on the on the development tour. It's not they're not easy to win. You know, I see it with a lot, a lot of the lads. You know, they're all they're so disappointed when when they get beat, <laughs> and obviously it's um, it must be hard for them. They're sort of um, they're way into obviously the, the top PDC, but. So when I won one, it was just a bonus. Like I didn't, I didn't think I would. I think, but because I'm just so free playing in that environment, I sort of just did well to um, to come out on top on one of the events, and hopefully in the future I can do that again. Thank you. Congratulations, Bo. How does it feel to reassert yourself as the top women's player in the world? You cemented that completely, and how does it feel at your age to be leading the world and 
Fallon and Lisa and, yeah. you, and Kuru, you've done that again today. So what's your emotion about that, to, to feel like that? Um, I don't know. I think it's one of them, like, I know I'm good. Um, I think in the ladies' game, I know I'm really good. I think, uh, but as well as with Fallon, Lisa, there's a few more coming in with the... Um, with the women's games and stuff, so uh, I think on this day I was the best, but it doesn't mean I am the best player. I think it just depends what happens on the day and stuff. And um, I just, I just want more for the ladies' game. I think you know we do deserve. I think we deserve a, se a separate part of it. I don't think you look at all the other sports now. You sort of get in that side of obviously that the men's and ladies is separate and stuff. And I, I think that's a big thing. I, I think that's just missing a trick, really. I think we could sort of do with separate competitions and a lot of other stuff. And, uh, yeah, because I just don't think we will we will ever be good enough to play against the, the likes, obviously, Luke Humphries, Van Gogh, and even Little like You're just looking at, you know, you're facing a losing battle, do you know what I mean, before you've even thrown a dart. So um, just want a bit more out of that side of it, I think. Can I just... What's more important to you? Would it be more important for you to establish yourself playing men and beating men, or for the women's game to be expanded, as you've just sort of? I think for me, it's um, it's the the women's game. I don't think any lady will will ever go to Ali Pali and and win that. I think you are literally just being silly if you think that's possible. I think they do the women's series separate, obviously. I think the match play that this is really good, but I think just having the more opportunity for us and not having like when I go to Grand Slam, I don't look forward to it because I know I've got to play men. It's different. I don't fancy my chances at all. I'm just realistic. Like I know how I can play, but it doesn't necessarily happen on the day. Like it's um, the men are just a lot more consistent and stuff, and obviously we're not. It's just how it is. You can see it on on the darts connect and stuff when you watch the streams and the the boards so you have to be realistic and think is this going to go anywhere unless they have a separate tournament for us thank you thank you well just on that i'm sure you'd love to see a women's world championship in the pdc yeah. are these conversations that, that you've had with people to try and sort of take the next step in women's darts in the pdc yeah well i think it's a difficult one i think some of the ladies think oh you know you need to beat the men and stuff but if you look at any other sport, obviously, how many ladies are better than men in any other sport there is? Like, it's just not a thing, and I think you have to be realistic about it. And obviously, I can sit here and say, oh, I've won back to back this and back to back that, but when you get on stage and someone completely outclasses you, then it's just a different kettle of fish in it. You're just sort of stuck in a rut. And you, like I say, you just look at the stats and the average and stuff. I know it's only throwing three darts, but it's different. Um, and I just think. We deserve that. I think there's um, just space for it in the sport, and obviously you see a lot of the men and stuff. And uh, I don't think it'd be a bad thing having more ladies included, but in their own separate tournament. You've won so many titles on the women's series. You've won two world match plays now, two world championships. A lot of people used to say that Phil Taylor could beat opponents before they went on the hockey because of that, that mm. fear factor. Same with Michael Van Gogh and Alice Pete. Do you feel like <laughs> you've got that aura and that fear factor around you, where people? I'm scared of playing you just because you're so good and so dominant in the women's game. Um, maybe a little bit, but not to the scale of obviously that they've had it. I think it's difficult in the ladies' game. I think I sort of know. I know when I'm going to win, and I know when I'm going to get beat. I don't really know how to describe it. I just have that feeling. But um, I think I felt that more maybe a few years ago when I was obviously on that streak of winning stuff. I felt unbeatable at times, but obviously. I am beatable and I'm not perfect, so, but um, sometimes I do have that, if I have that confidence about me, then I do believe I can be anybody, but it's just not all the time. You spoke about the consistency there, it's easy to forget that because of everything that you've won, you are still only 20 years old, mm. you feel like as you do get older, that consistency will come and you see the best of Bull Greaves more often? I mean, yeah, possibly, but it's like, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, do you? It's like... I know how I can play. Like, even leading up to this, I mean, I hadn't played and I was practising, it was terrible. I was thinking, and I felt, I think, I wasn't nervous against Katie. I felt worry that I was obviously going to gonna play bad and, and not turn up, but I was lucky enough to get through. But it's just hard to sort of, like, grasp where you are. I know the Women's Series is brilliant for us, but there's, it's not as if they're every weekend, you know, like, obviously PDC have seen got everything on it all the time and it was such a big busy schedule but I don't 
don't really know. I just try and do my best on the day and sometimes I'm consistent and sometimes I'm not. Like when I'm on women's series, I can go 90 average, 100 and something, and then I'll have a 75. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And I know that for myself. I know when it's coming. It's just... Um, even when I won that development tour, I played really well, but I had, I had dipped in form the whole day, so you just can't call it, can you? Well, Paul, you are the match play champion again. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Paul, uh, how does it feel to defend your title and obviously having been the first multiple winner of this title? Yeah, obviously it, it feels great. And obviously Fallon um, had the chance last year, uh, just fell, fell short against Lisa, I think it was, but. It's just nice to sort of know that I know that I can do it, and uh, uh, I always find it difficult playing on the stage. I don't know what it is about the stage balls at the PDC; or just they're just difficult to play on uh, compared to the floor games. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be to be sat here and to say that obviously I've defended it. And how would you assess your performances over all the overall three games? Uh, the first one was poor. The second one was. Well, the first leg was bad, and then I sort of settled into it a bit. And then, obviously, the final, I was off and running uh, from the start. Uh, I felt good. I had a few loose starts, but done anybody. So, yeah, it was nice to sort of just get over the line, and I was thankful Fallon didn't um, didn't turn it on it when I didn't need it to. So, yeah. Many congratulations on the defence of your title. Thank you. I don't really know. I think what Fallon did was brilliant. I think it obviously benefited Fallon in the right ways, and obviously the women's series is probably mostly to do with her. So obviously I've appreciate that part but I think for me personally playing at Alexandra Palace and that is not some people dream of that sort of stuff I never did so when I sort of got there it wasn't maybe I'm being ungrateful I don't know but when I sort of got there it wasn't amazing to me as it was to other people I think I'm more of a ladies dart player that's why I've said I'll choose Lakeside over some of the stuff just because I'm just more comfortable there and it's about ladies' darts, not about men's darts, so just got to support the ladies best I can.